What is going on my brodies? It is Andrew at AT Production and Publishing bringing you guys a brand new YouTube video. In this video, I figured we would go through, you know, making a beat or I guess me breaking down a beat that I just made. It is sampling an Elden Ring song or more so specifically the boss fight theme for Margaret the Fell Omen. Someone must extinguish thy flame. Let it be Margaret the Fell. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a gamer. Whenever I'm not working on beats or working on music stuff or publishing or whatever, I'm usually just chilling, playing games. Got any games on your phone? Or doing something very passively. Yeah, I figured give this a spin. I already made the beat. I'm sorry. I would have done like the video live while like making the beat. But to be honest, um, I recorded the video and it didn't record the audio. Bruh. So uh, instead of just doing it all over and then acting like I did it originally, I figured it would probably just be better that I just do a beat breakdown and going through the process and showing you guys how I did everything. I'll play the sample without any effects, without the shift and the pitch and everything and kind of talk about the process so you guys will still get all the information on how to do it and how you guys can achieve a very similar sound or similar approach. Here is the theme of Margaret the Fell Omen from Elden Rings that I sampled. And I hate Margaret the Fell Omen. I keep running down. I haven't beat that boss yet. So yeah, that's why we're here. Very theatrical. It would be perfect for a drill beat. So yeah, that's a sample. You guys get the gist. If you guys really want to listen to it, you can uh, find the theme of it on YouTube. Yeah, like the BPM of the theme has two different BPMs, I believe. The first half is like 125 and like the second half, I think is like 175, I believe, or it, it, it changes. And so 175 was going to be too fast and it was going to sound really weird if I like turned it down to like 140. So uh, what I did was I grabbed the first half, which is 125 five beats per minute you could double click it right click auto detect type in bpm 125 now it's going to stretch it and as you can see it's pretty much on beat now i'm gonna mute it i'm gonna play what i got now this is just the uh, sample chops a little bit faster a little bit higher uh pitch some chops and when we come over here then it's different now i did add an arcade on top of it which is really just some vocals If you want to hear it without. But it blends really well. If you want to hear it, it's uh, purity uh, B minor. So now, out of that gunshot. Uh, if you guys want to get these drum sounds, I just used some loops that we had from our uh, ATUK NYC drill sample pack series. Uh, if you want to kind of see what we have, we have uh, like three different UK drill NYC drill type of packs, all perfect for pop smoke. Just like that whole entire drill music scene. It's just perfect for that. So I just grabbed loops of all the drums except Crow kicks and 808s i did the kicks 808s and crow all all manually but i i just mixed to match different uh drum elements because i had these hi-hats were from the same sample composition with this gunshot so if i play it but then this uh clap was from a different one so if i play it Uh, 
And then open hat was from the same one as the hi hat gun. Then I grabbed a snare. Adding in the crow. Accent snare. Let me put in that. Uh, oh, I never even put in my tag. Let me put in my tag real quick. Ad adding the, in the kick. Now, if we add in 808 with everything else, mute this one. Bringing that into it, a different pattern. Added a little bridge section. I'm gonna add some imaging real quick to the master. And then maybe a And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the whole beat. It didn't take me that long to cook this uh, beat up. It didn't take, uh, it wasn't terribly long. Because as you can see, I did just a little mixing and matching with uh, the different drum elements that we have from the other AT UK NYC drill sample packs. If I didn't have those, it would have taken me a little bit longer because I'd have to plug in and program all the drums by hand. Luckily, I didn't need to do that. The only thing I really needed to do was 808s. 808s, I'm still kind of like, uh, they're cool. I like them. Probably could be better. My I rearrange some stuff uh, later on yeah i mean hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this quick little beat breakdown on how i you know kind of remixed and re rearranged a uh, elden ring song and sample and turned it into a drill type beat uh i like i said i, I was getting so frustrated from elden ring that i had to step away and you know pick a pick a beat with it so uh, let me know if you guys enjoy these uh video game beat making videos i wanted to like i said i wanted to actually film the whole process of doing this but when i literally started filming wasn't recording audio so that was uh not fun but you know this is better than nothing i guess hopefully hopefully you guys don't hate me hopefully uh this is somewhat enjoyable it makes the video shorter but yeah anyways uh if you guys enjoyed this and want to get the sample packs or samples that were used in this video i'll put the links down in the description down below for you, for you. and this is andrew of beta at production and publishing i will see you guys later be sure to click the thumbs up button it does help us and be sure to subscribe and click the push bell notification so you are updated whenever we drop a new video yeah andrew and i'll see you guys later Ad adios